So I just had a post declined from the atheist versus theist group on Facebook. And the post goes as follows. It says, Werner Heisenberg said, the first sip from the glass of natural sciences will make you an atheist. At the bottom of the glass, God is waiting for you. What do you think he meant by that? And the feedback that I received from the atheist versus theist discussion group on Facebook is, it means Werner Heisenberg was a theist. Many people are. We don't care what non-members think or say, they don't obey our rules. And it says that the group rule violated is group rule number one, in fact, no unrelated topic. And it says as a subscript to that, note that politics is not the same as A slash theism, Israel, Iraq, abortion, gay rights, circumcision, etc. Need to be clearly linked to in the issue of A slash theism. Um, on just a brief, just a uh, di digress briefly, um, I don't think that that sentence makes a hell of a lot of sense for one thing. There's two sentences, really. Note the politics clause, let's say. Note that politics is not the same as A slash theism, Israel, Iraq, abortion, gay rights, circumcision, etc. Need to be clearly linked to in the issue of A slash theism. Um, need to be clearly linked to in the... Need to be clearly linked to the issue of A slash theism. Um... I think, considering the quote that I um, posted on the atheist slash theist group contains the words God and atheist, I think I don't really qualify for a violation of that group rule since it is clearly linked to the issue of a slash theism since it mentions the word atheist. And I think that these people were just running scared of a quote from Werner Heisenberg. Um, one of the most brilliant minds, obviously, of the 20th century. One of the fathers of quantum mechanics. So I don't really know why this was declined at all. I'll go back to the feedback. It means Werner Heisenberg was a theist. Many people are. We don't care what non-members think or say. They don't obey our rules. Yeah, how inconvenient for them that Werner Heisenberg isn't a member of their stupid little group. I mean, come on, what, what a cowardly cop-out. I don't understand this. I'm a pantheist, by the way. I'm not a Christian. I'm not an atheist. I don't really understand why this topic was barred from discussion to begin with. And I'll just go to some of the sorts of things that they allow on the atheist versus theist discussion group. And... Um, Oh God, where is it? Come on. They allow all sorts of stupid things said by theists so that the atheists can like gaggle around it and laugh at it. It's pathetic really if you think about it, I think. You know, it's just like an atheist sort of um, mutual masturbation session where the, whereby they can just jump on the bandwagon and laugh at theists. Laugh at religious people for believing what they believe. It's a horrible thing. I'm trying to find it again. I'm really sorry. I will find it in a minute. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you bitch. Sorry, my internet is being a bitch. It's not letting me... Re but anyway... Um, and there are many groups like this on Facebook, where by atheists, they just sort of like pat themselves on the back, laugh at theists, and laugh at religious people for believing in such stupid nonsense. And then I bring up a quote by Werner Heisenberg, and I essentially get deplatformed by them. And I'm really not impressed by that at all. I was hoping that that quote would have got into all sorts of deep areas like what started the Big Bang, what's outside the universe, what's the universe expanding into, and so on and so forth. And really, ultimately, fundamentally, when it comes down to it, what created everything? Or how was everything created? How was everything made to begin with? Was it spontaneous symmetry breaking? Was it an inflationary model of the cosmos? Or has ideology or has ideology bled into physics to such a great extent that we don't really know yet? 
yet people are asserting that um, our cosmology is inflationary and that matter and energy were created by the spontaneous breaking of symmetry at the beginning of time at the Big Bang. But then again, that was only 13.8 billion years ago. And we don't know what happened before it. Maybe it was a, a, a collapse before then. And we have a sort of a big bounce cosmology. I'm, I'm uncertain. I'm uncertain because I don't know, because I've drunk quite a lot of the water of the natural sciences. I've drunk quite a lot of physics flavored water. And I'm not certain I have such a great idea as to what happened before the Big Bang. Actually, I do think I have some ideas about that. But I, you know, I don't, I wouldn't have said that I'm so certain about anything. Certainly not. Atheist, I'm, have I been blocked by this group? I think I might have been. Atheist versus Theist Debates. I have. I've been blocked by their group. I've been blocked by their group probably for the second thing that I submitted to them, in which I accused the admins of that group of being cowardly. Since it's not coming up in searches on Facebook. Yeah. I've got Atheist versus Theist Debates. I'm going to type in Atheist into my search. For atheist group, atheist versus pseudoscientific nonsense. None of the admins of any of these groups would ever let me post anything like this in there. Oh god. That's what happens. They block you. They block you for actually challenging them. I'm saying that serious scientists, Nobel laureates like Werner Heisenberg, if they say anything that remotely supports the religious standpoint or the theist standpoint they'll just try and eradicate you from the discussion and just not address it it's pathetic it really really is it's it's tawdry it's banal it's just it reflects a lily lividness a servility to ideology. There's nothing good in this at all. It's, it's pusillanimity. That's all it is. So yeah, I'd like to at least pose as a theist to, to challenge people like this. I think it's worth, worth doing so, actually. Because they're, they're running scared. They're running scared of a, of a genuine challenge to their ideological framework, and it um, makes me a little bit sick, frankly. <clears throat> and I, I admire all people like Christopher Hitchens and Richard Dawkins and so on and so forth, but I do not admire their adherence. That's the problem with it, because they engage in this sort of thing. The deplatforming and blocking people have deplatforming and blocking of people who come up with Werner Heisenberg quotes. Oh, that's the sort of thing they're most afraid of. And they set themselves up to to allow stupid, by the way, theists into the fray to and put them on a platform so they can laugh at them and gawp at them. It's awful. And I think I've said enough on this, frankly, by this point. And by the way, everyone, uh, for now, and thank you very much for watching. Bye.